In this video, I'm doing a review of a product called Wave Video. My name is Robert Poole and my website is enterpriseformula.com. I provide tips and strategies to help you with your online marketing. If you like this video, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I do a new video. Watch the video till the end because I'm going to be showing you how this program works. I'll be going into the nuts and bolts to show you exactly all the features that this and functions that this program has available. This is a Vietnamese alternative. Check it out. See if it's something that you can use because you can get access to this video editor for free. So it's definitely worth checking out. And if you've been looking for a safe and effective blueprint that can help you with your online marketing, click the link in the description below for that also. So we're taking a look at the sales page of Wave Video, which is a video marketing platform that allows you to build videos to engage your social media platforms or to use for your blog or whatever it is that you need to use a video creation tool for. Wave Video is definitely one of the tools that you can use to fulfill that purpose. They work well with Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google Drive, Dropbox, Vimeo, HubSpot, Wistia. There's 1,309,000 fellow marketers that grow their business with Wave.video. Make and repurpose videos for every channel. Easily create videos at scale for your social media, emails, website, and blog with just one tool. Keep your videos organized and reuse them for every step of the customer journey. Use hundreds of beautiful templates. We're inside the pricing of Wave Video, and they have an option for a free plan or you can get the creator plan or the business plan the creator plan is right now 50 percent off regularly 39 bucks a month you can get it for 20 bucks a month if you purchase the annual plan if you were to do the business plan if you purchase it annually you could get it for 40 bucks a month which would be 474 dollars billed annually for the free plan you get a free library of video clips and images 600 plus professional design templates and you can upload your own videos images and audio clips with the creator plan you get the voiceover recording 350 beautiful fonts to choose from and ad free video hosting and with the business plan you get the inspirational calendar with video ideas the audio library of 300,000 royalty free audio tracks and auto resizing for 30 plus video formats one of the other options you have is on AppSumo, you can actually purchase right now WaveSumo for $59, one time lifetime price, which is a great deal. And I'll have the link for that in the description below. So let's go in and take a look at Wave Video. The first thing you would do is hover over the New Video tab. And the options you have are to upload a video, you can use a template. You can use stock videos and images or a blank video. If we click on templates, you'll still have the option to do a blank video or use templates. If you notice right here, you'll see these two boxes checked for free or premium. So you can uncheck the premium so that you just get free templates to start with. So you have all these different choices as you're choosing a template. To use case, you can select the industry that you want. So let's say you wanted art and culture. If you did click that, all of the templates would change to that preferred choice that you made. So if you go to holidays and sections, you can go through here. You can actually, there are lots and lots of different video options that you have. Independence Day, Memorial Day, Observance, St. Patrick's Day, and you can just go down some more. And once you actually choose one, then you can choose the actual aspect ratio that you want to use. So all of that can be done right on the side here. As you hover over them, you'll see exactly how they're going to be displayed in the editor once you actually choose it. Let's hover over one to see an example of how that would work. So let's see, if we click here, you would see this is going to go for 10 seconds. That's how this video would be displayed for 10 seconds. So let's say we choose a template based on that information. Thanksgiving is coming up. This is a good time to choose a Thanksgiving celebration idea. 22 seconds for this one. And as you can see, some of the template itself, you're going to see how it's going to be displayed just by watching it from here. And let's say you like that one, then you just go ahead and choose it. You just click it. 
and then we move on to the next step from here. This is the first time that I'm actually editing a video. So maybe that's when they actually give you these little prompts to help you in the process. So right here you see it says click here to start customizing the template. So we simply click there. Wave Video is now processing the template that you chose. Now it's got everything ready and you're inside of the editor itself. Once you're inside of the editor itself, you can actually make changes to your videos. As far as adding videos, you can click this tab. And when you click there, you can go into the search bar and put in a search term, search. And now you can add these to your video if you want it. If you didn't want to add any, just go back and you can use some of the templates that are being provided here to continually add or take away from your video as you see fit as you're doing your editing. You can go back to templates and you can change the template if you wanted to. You can go back to the layouts and you can swap out the layout. As you can see here, you can click, let's say you wanted this layout or you wanted this one or you wanted to change it to that layout. So these are some of the changes that you can make and go back to your editing. You can click replace if that's what you want to do, or you can just go back, just click on the video that you were originally using. As long as you didn't add any of that, then everything will still remain the same. You can also resize your video. And when you click there, you get the option to change back to a YouTube format, Facebook, you can scroll down here and you can get other options full portrait square instagram vertical you could click either one of these as you hover over each one you can look to the right side there and you'll see the mobile view that you would get from each one of these if you were to choose it that's how it would look on mobile next are your overlays and stickers when you click on them this is what you'll get you get choice for emojis, GIFs, logos, and uploads. You click either one of them. That's how you add it to your video. And now you can just grab it and move it around. You can enlarge it simply by grabbing the edges, moving it up, moving it down. As you look right up here at the top for the frame, it gives you some options. Here you can have your graphics effects. You can have it zoom out. You can have it zoom in. You can have it zoom up. You can have it zoom in like a circle. You can have it teardrop in. You can change the colors. Simply click the color button. And let's say if you wanted to make it red, you could do that. So those are some of the things that you can do. If you didn't like that, there's a little tab up here, a little back tab. You just click that and then that gets rid of the color. You can just click this back button to undo any effects that you made that you didn't like. Okay, so we're going to delete that and moving on. Your next option here is your watermark. If you click there, it'll do the same thing as the overlays and stickers, basically. But what you can do is, as you scroll down over here on the right, as far as creating a watermark, these are a lot of the different shapes and images that you can use to create your watermark if you don't have one. Otherwise, you would just upload your watermark and go through the same process that I showed you with the emojis. Well, there's just one more step that you would have that you would be able to do if you were to use any one of these objects for your watermark. If you click on it, what you'll see here is opacity. A lot of times you want to take your watermark and you want to make it somewhat transparent. So what you could do is just basically change the opacity here to maybe 30. And then you click out. And as you can see now, your image has become almost invisible. But you would know it's there because that would be your logo. Okay, so I just wanted to cover that. Okay, we're going to go back to edit. And now we're going to edit the text and the image so to edit the text you just click inside of the text and you'll get some options here to on the right and you'll also get a few options above the actual text itself and there's a few things you could do with these options at the top as you can see when you 
hover over it, it'll tell you exactly what the function is. With this one, you can add lines of text. And here you can make it uppercase. And here you can highlight the text. If you go here, you can actually change the font and you can change the size of the font. If I click on the image, you would see some changes that you could do there. You could actually reduce the size of the image. You can increase it. You can change some colors. You can pan the image. So if I wanted it to pan, to zoom in, let's say, let's say I wanted to pan left or pan right. And those are some of the things that you could do as far as editing text and images inside of your video. Now next we're going to go back to resize the video and we're going to use a different template. The YouTube 16 by 9. Now we got a larger image that we can use to work with. So if you wanted to come in here and start editing the text, it would be a lot easier. Just simply highlight the text that you want to change just like a regular text editor. Then you can just make that larger if you wanted to or smaller to make it larger. And of course, when you click in, all the same features apply. Change the colors. So there's a lot of things that you could do with this. Just wanted to point out the resizing. Definitely make it larger. And for the sake of editing, I started out with an Instagram stories format. So that was kind of small. And the YouTube format is a little bigger. You can edit it and then change it back to the format that you actually want to use. Next, we can add music. You just click there and now you get a lot of different choices of music clips. If you have a particular subject of music that you're interested in, you can just click here and put it in a search. All you do is choose a clip that you like and then you just simply add it. And once you do that, it's added to the timeline. And then you can play it if you just want to hear if it's different. In this next section, we're going to talk about the transitions. So for transitions between the clips here, you just click right in there between and it'll bring up some transitions that you can use. You can hover over them to see how they work and they also have a name for the actual transition itself. So this is a doorway. You have an entrance, a swipe and so on. So we're going to use a doorway for this one. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to use a mirror. Now we're going to use a different one. Zoom in. And then we're going to use a different one here and click. And we're going to choose another one for that transition. So now we'll give it a shot. Once you're happy with your video, then you simply publish it. Now Wave Video is going to render it for you. So you just click the render button. The video preview will appear here shortly. If you close this window, we will email you the link. So now it's rendering. If you look here, there's a little progress bar that shows you the length of time that it's taking for the video to render. Now that it's done, you see the video is right here. And you can just hover over it and you can see it playing or you can actually restart it, play it again. And there you have it. This program can do a ton more than what I showed you there. I tried to highlight some of the best features available. I think it's a great program to use. It's actually an excellent alternative to Vietnami. Click the link in the description below so that you can get access to the same safe and effective blueprint that I use to do my online marketing. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can get more videos like this. And you have a nice day.